the Detroit City Council meeting ending abruptly after several folks attending became unruly. One man was even cursing at City Council President Brenda Jones. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dave Llewellyn. And I'm Glenda Lewis. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury shows us what happened moments before that mayhem and why that man became so irate. Mayor Mike Duggan unveiled his budget proposal to City Council this morning, but when he was done, what happened afterwards was unexpected. Stop acting like a queen! You are not Marie Antoinette! And that's how the Detroit City Council meeting ended. Council members stood up and walked out. You are not Queen Elizabeth! And as people were leaving, more yelling among those who attended the meeting. Oh, all this after Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan unveils his budget proposal. He outlined more money for the rainy day fund, animal control, and pension funds. Duggan also addressed blight issues and a new program for eligible tenants to have legal representation in eviction proceedings. Another big focus, recruiting more police officers to keep the streets safe. The goal is to hire 400 officers a year. A budget increase of $7 million for the police budget, and that includes everything. It includes raising the officers' pay to $42,000. After the interview with the mayor, we heard commotion in the meeting room. Photojournalist Mike Glover ran back in with his camera rolling on the chaos. That's when we heard this man, D'Amico Williams, yelling. Stop acting like a queen! You are not moving Antoinette! He and many others were escorted out. The shouting continued in the hallway. It started when Duggan did not stay for public comment. He never wants to hear the residents speak. He always got something to do. Mayor Duggan says he had to leave because he had a meeting with lawmakers to discuss universal pre-K legislation. We caught up with Williams on the phone to ask why he was upset at council members. This would have been a great time for council to display their leadership and they failed. So I'm, that's why I'm upset. William says he wanted city council to hold Duggan accountable for overtaxing homeowners by $600 million. And with fears over the coronavirus, Williams wanted the mayor to address concerns about water shutoffs. He needs to come up with a, a, a solution to stop our city from further damage. So for what happened today, that just made me as a voter uh, kick off a campaign to remove Mike Duggan. And as for the budget, city council is expected to vote on it in April. In Detroit, Simon Chowdhury, 7 Action News.